So here in the United States, we have a lot of issues. But one of those issues is a new measles outbreak that is happening right now in some major US cities. Now today, I wanna address why measles is happening, what experts are telling us, what doctors say is the main cause and the concern for this new measles outbreak because we haven't seen this in decades. So I'm gonna explain what's going on there, explain what you should be looking for and what you need to be careful of. So make sure you stick around for this entire video. I'll explain exactly what is going on. But all I ask is one thing, takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So in just two months, the United States has actually seen a year's worth of measles cases. That is extraordinary. Just look at this. It says America on verge of measles mayhem. Hundreds feared to be infected in California and Arizona outbreaks as US suffers years worth of cases in two months. But why? Well, doctors say anti-vaxxers and Biden's open border policy are allowing the virus to spread. Here's the main thing. The, the open border policy is not really spreading uh, the, the virus. What's happening is the, some of the people that are getting infected and some of these cases are ending up in migrant encampments. Well, the problem there is these encampments are so close, they're so confined. This is a very infectious disease. And if, again, if you have a vaccine, I believe it's like 97% effective. But the problem is right now, what we are facing is that if you don't have the vaccine, which many people outside of the United States don't, well, the concern is then you become uh, potentially a carrier. And again, that's a major issue. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that just because there's a measles outbreak does not mean everyone's going to get it. In fact, just look at this. It says the US measles milestone, 60 cases so far in 2024, this is more than all of 2023 combined. The concern isn't that this measles outbreak is spreading like wildfire. It's not, okay? The reason why this is concerning is because the amount of people that have decided to get to not get the vaccine. Now, I am not here to tell you go and get the vaccine. That is your choice, it's your body, your decision, okay? All I'm here to tell you is the, the writing is on the wall. The, the studies do show that people that decided not to get the measles vaccine are more likely, a lot more likely, to go and uh, con contract this, this uh, virus. But it does not mean this is it does not mean you don't have to worry about this. This is still an issue and here's the reason why. It's because of the open border policy. What we know is that the CDC, uh, their team is joining uh, in the response to eight measles cases in the Chicago shelter. A shelter in Chicago, just Chicago alone, has seen eight people contract the virus. Now again, this is a highly contagious disease. Right? But the concern is this is going to spread because you, if you come in from another country, guess what you likely don't have? You don't have health insurance. You don't have coverage. So if you do get sick or you contract the measles virus, guess what? You can't just walk into any, any doctor and say, hey, you know, I got the measles. I need something. In most cases, People that are just coming into the United States or coming into the U.S. illegally, they're not going to walk into a doctor's office. They're not going to walk into an emergency room. So chances are they're going to spread the virus. They're going to be carriers. Again, that's the concern. I want to play you something, though. Listen to this right here. And I think this is very important, but listen to what she has to say. There is a growing measles outbreak across the country and health officials make it clear measles is a highly contagious but preventable disease with two doses of the vaccine being 97% effective. So two doses of the vaccine, you become 97% effective, okay? That, that's huge. And the reason why that is huge is because most people don't realize that. Many people only get one. They just get one. That's it. I want to show you something else because these are the states. 
these states are the ones that are seeing the most cases. Okay, I want to show you the 17 states. Look at this. Okay, Florida is on this list. Florida has reported 10 cases as of March 12th. Nine linked to an elementary school in Broward County and one in Polk County, according to data from the Florida Department of Health. Illinois, where Chicago is, has reported 12 cases in Chicago as of March 14th, 10 of which are concentrated at a migrant shelter in the city's Pilsen neighborhood, with multiple outlets reporting the Centers, uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has sent a team to assist with the outbreak. In Pennsylvania, reported nine cases, okay, nine cases as of January, but the outbreak was declared over on February 29th after no new cases were reported over a month. Washington has six cases. Arizona and California have reported four. Michigan and Minnesota have reported three. Louisiana and New York have reported two. And seven states, Georgia, Indiana, Maryland, Missouri, New Jersey, Ohio, and Virginia have all reported one case. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention right now, and I've talked about it a little bit over the past three to four weeks, is because we are starting to see uh, the, the winter weather is uh, almost past us, right? We're starting to get into a little bit warmer days. And as we do, we also see an influx of migrants entering through the U.S. border. As this happens, and again, I told you guys this before, Venezuela is having some issues. There's more people uh, expected to come through Venezuela as well. And Haiti, Haiti seeing a huge problem. They have a massive crisis on their hands. So if we see Haitians decide to come into the United States, again, they could be carriers as well. The concern, though, is people are going to start to go into certain shelters. And in those shelters, they're not the, the cleanest shelters. Okay, you're, you're almost sharing a bed because you're sleeping so close to other people and other families. With that said, there's a higher chance that you would become infected if somebody in that shelter does have measles, does have COVID, does have the flu, does have RSV. You become uh, a more likely target because of how confined the space is. So that's where things are at right now. The concern though is this, that right now people that have decided to not get the vaccine, anti-vaxxers, those are the ones that doctors are saying are the, the main cause for the measles outbreak. And then the spread is happening because people are going from shelter to shelter to shelter, just trying to find a way to just live. So that's what we know at this time. As soon as I get any more information on this, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next 